Everybody, really glad you're here today. The wonderful yeah, beautiful the day for this, yeah, and I'm glad of the uh, efforts put forth to uh, to organize this day. We're going to honor uh, Von Grind for his service to our country, which will be explained later by uh, Representative Kasson when we call on him. The order we're going to go is we're going to let the honor guard first, which I'm going to brag on a little bit, and then. Uh, after they go, I'm going to introduce all the uh, public officials that are here and, and do some special thank yous, uh, and then we'll go on with the rest of the program. But right now, I want to tell you how proud I am of this honor guard uh, who does funerals and all kinds of services for the people, not only in Ohio County, but Butter County as well. And uh, they're busy all the time, they're putting a lot of hours. And uh, it's such a great uh, honor to have them. So without further ado, I present the Wesley T. Phelps Honor Guard. Will you all join us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God.
say something, and I thought I'd just briefly tell you how all this came about. And it shouldn't take long. Back in 2006, uh, we leaned on Ohio County Fiscal Court to deed us some of the money. So the Veterans Memorial Corporation in was incorporated through the years. physical work, and there's two people here today who I would like to recognize who physically did the work. One, and he continues to do that, and that's J.P. Taylor. He's hiding over here under the tree. And he's hiding under a tree that he and I set. I keep telling my family after I'm dead and gone, when you drive through Rosine and you see a red paper, you think of me, because I saw J.T. Taylor and I put it in the ground. But that being said, Donald Ferguson's here, he takes over. He won't take the confidence. He works physically hard, and there's several people that donated time and effort. Mr. Charlie Clark, I'm telling his son, Funny story, most of you remember Charlie, a great guy. We were down here struggling and he came by and he had a tractor. We were doing everything physically. Boys, there's a better way to do this. So that was the kind of thing that happened here. So uh, all the people that work at this, it's all been volunteer. We have donations from all over the U.S., and I won't mention the person's name, but we recently received a substantial donation in a person's will, so we now have enough money to see that after J.T.'s gone, we can pay somebody to cut the grass, because he does everything voluntarily. Uh, I don't need to ramble on and on. I'm not. I just want to say this started in 2006, and I hope it goes to 2106. We're going to upgrade the lighting, uh, making some improvements as we go. I hope I didn't take too much time, Jay. Where you went? By the way, I'm sure you've noticed it. That was an honor winner from Rosemary, Kentucky. I'm not glad. We're the home of Medal of Honor winners, better memorial, bluegrass music, and a lot of good people. Now, if I miss somebody in these uh, recognition, up. And each time I recognize somebody, I will pause in case you want to say a few words. Uh, first, we're going to recognize Mayor Hayward Dean Minton, Dean if we know him, and uh, here, and, uh, and and we have uh, 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 Jason Geary, who brought us the fire truck. He's on the Rosine and Hartford Fire Department, so there's a truck, a big one of them there, the big ladder truck, and then the Rosine. Uh, uh, we have Larry Morphew, he's the mayor uh, the mayor of this district. We have, we have our beautiful county court clerk, Bess Ralph here. Uh, who else who else uh, miss here? I'm getting JB next. Okay. Uh, I think he'll say, he'll say a word to you, Reed. I got him last. <coughs> but uh, our new district judge, J.D. Hunt. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for the opportunity to be here, and thank you for the opportunity to serve uh, Ohio County. I um, also want to thank our honor guard and my wife, who's with me today, Ms. Shaska. Every day I go into the courtroom, I'm ever so mindful of the Creator above us, but also for the 
servicemen and women that serve this country. Our courtrooms are one of the most hallowed places in our country because it is the embodiment, the embodiment of the values that the, the men that we're here to honor and the women that we are here to honor today. So thank you for the opportunity to serve Ohio County as, as judge, and I love to get to know each and one of you. Um, but thank you, thank you so much, Judge. Thank you. And uh, don't forget all the effort went into putting this program together by by Steve, Gary, and his wife. They did the they did the uh, legwork to make this happen. And I know a lot of other folks did too, and I don't mean to leave anybody out. But now I'm going to introduce to you our uh, state representative, Matt Castle, who will conclude the program. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were there, Sandy. You come on up. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm sorry, Sandy. I'm looking for you, too. I don't know how I missed you. Well, I've got a confession to make. I'm still shaking from the 90 miles per hour. Coming down 62, trying to get here because I missed the road about an hour ago. But thank you all for the invitation to be here today. Can you all hear me okay? I'm a little, my husband says I'm a soft speaker, but except when I get mad. You know. uh, I, on behalf of Congressman Comer, I appreciate the opportunity to be here today to, to say uh, congratulations to, uh, to uh, SP uh, Brian here. I'm so proud to be here today um, to honor this man and, and uh, be with all you folks here. Uh, thank you to everyone who, who was a part of this program today. Congressman Comer, unfortunately, could not be here today. He had already scheduled town halls, so he's he's uh, at the town halls today. But he wanted to be here, and that's why he sent me here to make sure that his office was represented. And I was here today to, to say hello to all of you all. Um, I have uh, a presentation to make you uh, right here. From the Unit Citation, a Distinguished Flying Cross, four Purple Hearts, and the Air Medal. This man is a hero. The reason that we are able to stand here today is because of what they've done and what they stood for in our country. You know, you served in 1965, 66, 67, 68 in the Vietnam War. And there's so many other people that are here today did. What an honor it is just to be able to present a sign in the state of Kentucky and memorizing such a great hero for our country. The freedoms that we celebrate today come from our God. And through these men and women of our country, 
they're able to protect those things that we have. They risk their lives. Others lay their lives down so we can have it. And so many of them here today don't want that recognition because they've done it because they love this country, because they love their communities, because they love their neighbors. But on behalf of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, the citizens of Ohio County, and all the citizens of the United States of America, we want to present this road sign, which you can have for your house. There'll be one place right here on the corner that will be there for years and years to come. So when people drive down this road, they'll realize the freedoms we have today are because of men like you who stood and fought for our country. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else that's got a few words they'd like to say, any family members or anything that would like to say any words of appreciation at this time, I just want to open it up and let anybody just have a moment to say something. I would like to say something. I'm his daughter-in-law, Amy Bowles. My husband is Jason Bowles. And I read on Facebook this morning, you know, they say if you don't write it on Facebook, it's not true. But, um, I read something this morning that my husband had put on Facebook, and he's a veteran as well, and he said if it hadn't been for his dad, and things that he had to look up to as a kid that he wouldn't have served and been as much in the patriotism area as he is now and how much that his dad's his hero. So, hashtag America. <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else like to say a few words? Well, thank you all for coming out today. And thank you all for being a part of this. And we look forward to doing this many more times to honor the men and women of our, who served our country. So God bless and have a great day.